Hi, I'm Madison Burkett. I'm going to be a senior at Sabino High School, and I was able to work in the Pappas Lab under the mentorship of Nathaniel J. Hart this past summer. The Pappas Lab focuses on the question, can an islet transplant be done in diabetic patients without resulting in lifelong immunosuppression? To understand their main question, you really have to know what is immunosuppression, what is diabetes, and what is an islet transplant? Diabetes is a disease that affects the production of insulin in reaction to blood glucose. An islet transplant is the transplantation of healthy pancreas islets, islets being the group of cells that produce and regulate insulin, into the pancreas of a diabetic in hopes of resolving issues with insulin secretion. Immunosuppression is the usage of medication to block the patient's immune system from attacking the newly transplanted islets. One of my main questions when starting at the Pappas Research Lab was, if there are treatments available that can quote cure diabetes, why isn't it more widely known about? Upon asking my mentor, I found out that on average, islet transplants only last about five years. So although most islet transplants are successful, they are not a lifelong treatment and still leave patients with the lifelong side effects. My remaining question is, by using a bag-like device to house islets during a transplant, would it extend the lifespan of the transplant itself? Or even make the transplant more effective? These questions can only be answered by furthering our research into the question, can a diabetic patient receive an islet transplant without getting lifelong immunosuppression?